all warmly welcome on SLTV Law. Ladies and gentlemen, once again I give you a warm welcome on SRTV Law. Today I would like to show you the structure of the female pelvis. This is the pelvis, not the abdomen of the chest, no, this is the pelvis. And this is a, a female mannequin, so we are going to see how the pelvis is. We are going to see all the organs we find within the pelvis and how they are related. I hope it's going to be enjoyable. Ladies, maybe you never knew how your pelvis is. This is the moment. Maybe, gentlemen, you never knew how the pelvis of female is. Now, this is the moment to know it. Maybe you don't know where the baby glow, when a baby is still within the, I mean, within the mother, where does the baby develop, where does the baby glow, the moment to know those things. So please, stick on this video from the beginning up to the end, you are going to learn a lot about this topic. So please, if you know anyone who needs such kind of knowledge, place the share button and share it to your colleague. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, there is a down button, a red button, subscribe, please place it. That will be a huge support for this channel. So let's start our today's class. Let's start our today's part. We are going to see the pelvis of a female. So you can see the pelvis before you remove, or you can see the organs we find within the pelvis unless you remove this abdominal part. So this is what we are going to do in order to have the access to the pelvis. But this is the outside part of the pelvis. You know? Here are the medial side of the thigh and from this part up to here, this is the pelvis, this is the pelvis. So now let's remove this one and see the pelvis exactly. Well, when you reach here, you're going to find something very interesting. Good. Posteriorly, just internally, there. That is part of the large intestine, intestine that goes to the anus for the excretion, you know, to throw outside, you know, the feces. And that's okay. That is not the deal of today. But I would like to show you this pelvis exactly. Wow. When you see from here, this is where the baby glow. This is where all of us well de developed before we come to this earth. This is called the uterus. This is the uterus. This is where the baby glow. I'm going to show it to you uh, in a while. Now, when you move at the side, I mean the left side and the right side, you're going to go to what we call what? There is what we call fallopian tube that go and connect to the ovaries. There is left ovary and the right ovary. Let me remove it in order to see it clearly. Wow, good. Separ Let me separate the left from the right side. Good. Here we are on the right side. As it is just presented here, posterior here, this is the anus, the one that gets out of the faces the waste from the large intestine from the digestive system now when you move anteriorly a little bit you find the entrance of the female reproductive system this is the entrance this is where everything takes place you know what happens when you are older than 18 years you know what happens here maybe there are younger people who know what happened so this is where everything takes place in order to make uh, a female pregnant. So, this is the interest of the female reproductive system. And when you reach here, when you reach here, you find the cervix. The cervix is the one that separates this lower part to the upper part. And this is the uterus. The uterus, this is where the baby develops. 
hope you know it. You see, you can see it and think that is very small. It's enough. When a baby grows, it also get white. You know it. So these are cross section. This is the right side, and this is this is the left side. But a little bit anterior here, a little bit anterior, you find the urinary bladder. This is the one that corrects the urine from the kidney. Then this is the tube that gets out the urine out of the urinary bladder. This is called urethra. Good. Now I have told you remember that from the uterus wait a moment from the uterus you may go either on the right side or you go on the left side you're gonna find something very important what is it let me just make it like this dissect it good from the uterus here this is the uterus as i have told you now there is a connection with something very important this one this is where female eggs are produced good now this is called the fallopian tube, the tube that connects the uterus to the ovary. Now, suppose something has happened here and eggs from a male entered. So, it moves all the way. Get it back. It moves all the way. Okay, just a moment. I need to reconnect them. Okay, wow. Something happens here. Then male eggs move and enters the uterus and move and cross the uterus to enter into the fallopian tube and go and meet an egg which is lady. If it is during ovulation, so a female egg is around here within the fallopian tube. This is where everything takes place. So the male egg will go and get connected to the female egg that is fetal fertilization. Then the egg will start developing slowly and it will move back and comes back into the uterus. And this is where it will fully grow up to when a mother will give birth to a full nine months baby so let me get it back so you have seen how it is actually let me connect them together and show you every part when they are connected together that is where you can see it and know it very easily you see here very clear this is the uterus this is the left here this is the left ovary and this is the right ovary and this tube you can see this tube clearly this tube this is what is called fallopian tube the left one and here is the right, the right fallopian tube that come and get connected to here so when you come down here these are two olifice these are the anus this is the olifice that this is the anus you get it and this is the olifice that goes into the female productive system you get it this is how it is next time we'll talk about every part to see what happens exactly what are the structures maybe of the ovaries what are the specific structures of the the I mean the uterus, the specific structures of the ovaries and the fallopian tubes as well. So let us get back this part in where in their position. What well done? You have seen those are the main parts we find within the pelvis of a female. So guys, I hope it's very helpful or informative. If you have liked it, please like, place like button. And if there is a way you would like me to improve this kind of lessons, please comment and tell me what to do. 
But if you want to encourage me, say, yes, go on, never give up, crush. I will really appreciate your comments. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, please support this channel by pressing the subscribe button. May God bless you. See you next time in another video. Please support this channel by pressing like, subscribe, and the bell. This is a huge support for this channel. May God bless you.